We'll go immediately from uh, the lat pull down to a med ball slam, which is very similar to a pullover motion. It's kind of an explosive pullover. The athlete will hold the ball above their head and they'll use using their core as well as their upper body. They're slamming the ball to the ground as hard as they can, but they'll get a good extended follow through. And when you get that shoulder extension, uh, you're working muscles of the core, you're working your lats, you're working your triceps. Uh, and the goal, again, we want to try and make everything we can competitive with these kids. And, and with, with the weight ball that we use, as well as how it bounces, it's very, very difficult for the kids to get the ball to hit this ceiling, which is about a nine foot ceiling, but that's their goal. The goal is to see if you can slam it and hit the ceiling. Athletes are very internally motivated. When you give a kid a challenge like, there ain't no way you're gonna hit that ceiling, they will give you everything they got to prove you wrong and hit the ceiling. So that's, that's just one of the ways that, as a coach, I try and push the right buttons to get them to work hard. When we coach the athletic position, no matter whether we're talking about stuff in the weight room or we're talking about stuff on the court, we teach chest over knees over feet. So there's a straight line, you're about hip width apart uh, on the power pads of your feet. So your heels are on the ground, they're not elevated, but, but most of your weight is distributed on the front part of the foot, chest over knees over feet. And that's the position when we're doing the ball slam. Athlete will start as, at its highest point, slam the ball, shoulders extended, head down, using the core, chest over knees over feet. In the finishing position, you're actually a little more forward than you would be uh, in, our, in our athletic stance. But they'll do about 10 reps on that, yeah. And they usually, they'll reach exhaustion almost before that. Uh, with our explosive movements, your first handful of reps are gonna be your best chance at accomplishing whatever you're trying to do. So we're, we're not really looking to try and fatigue anything. We're looking for maximum effort, maximum explosion. So after three or four reps, if they haven't hit the ceiling, it's not gonna happen during that set. 